What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I'm just going to give you a general overview of my channel and uh, some of the new improvements that I've made to make the whole learning experience of Revit a lot easier. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make all sorts of tutorials, mostly Revit, every day. Okay, so let's get started. When you search Balkan Architect, this is what you get and this is my channel and I've got over 200 videos where I talk about uh, different subjects, but it's mostly Revit tutorials and if you want to learn Revit, this is probably the best channel on YouTube for that and, yes. and here we've got, this is the basically the home page and here you've got some uploads, but I've heard a lot of people having problems that they can't really find something they're looking for or they're asking me in the comments something that I've already created a tutorial on. So in order to help you all, instead of going through all of my videos, again I said there are over 200 so it's it can take a while to to find this, some subject that you're looking for, the easiest way to go now is to go to playlists and here as you can see I've created a bunch of new playlists and here you can probably find the the type of tutorials that you're looking for and then you can search that playlist. So first we've got this Revit tips playlist and if I open this up you can see here I've got a bunch of these tutorials where you're doing maybe you need foundation detail or you want to do white white all white material rendering or you want to do some title blocks stuff like that so all of those little tips and tricks and stuff technical stuff about Revit like cost estimation or sun settings importing families from SketchUp th those types of tutorials will be in these this Revit tips uh, playlist now if I go back then we've got some landscape tutorials now this is a bit different this is some some of them are Revit some of them are just kinda graphic tutorials and here we've got this is basic site plan this is mostly Photoshop tutorial then we've got some AutoCAD tutorials and then we've got just a bunch of tutorials that are also kinda connected to site plans then we have rendering in Revit tutorials that is self-explanatory I guess then we've got this architecture presentation tutorials. So I not only do Revit tutorials, I also do tutorials on presenting your projects. So if we open this up, oh, there's Frank Gehry. Anyway, so if I open this up, you can see here I've got a bunch of these uh, tutorials on how to create diagrams, renderings, this, uh, how to do project logos. This is an interesting video, you should check it out. And a bunch of these videos where I show you just some basic tips on how to do some visualization and just general tips on presentation like a 360 view where you can kind of spin around. That's quite cool. Okay, let's go back and then we've got construction in Revit. Again, self-explanatory. You'll, you'll get to learn how to do wall construction, how to do beams, columns, how to do roof construction and much more. Then we've got parametric design. Now, I know a lot of you are you know Revit to some extent, but you probably don't know some parametric design options and how to make parametric families or whatever. So I thought I should group all of the to, to all of the tutorials that have uh, parametric design in them. So all of my tutorials that are kind of parametric or Dynamo tutorials or just creating parametric families, they're all grouped over here. So if you want to learn about parametric design in Revit, check out that parametric design tutorials playlist. Then I've got lights in Revit. Again, I think this is self-explanatory, just a bunch of light families or how to add lights to your interior scenes to make cool light up renderings. Next we've got roofs. Again, self-explanatory, just different styles of roofs in Revit. Then we've got walls in Revit. Again, self-explanatory. And then we've got my favorite playlist, and that is Revit Gameplay. Now, what does that mean? So, Revit Gameplay is a basically a playlist in which I show you how to how to model famous buildings in Revit. So I search for famous building. Here we've got Burj Khalifa, then we've got Big Architect Spiral. I forgot the name of this project, then we've got the Phoenix Spiral, then we've got some Norman Foster, we've got the CCTV, again big, and Villa Savoie, some Frank Gehry building, and again all of these famous buildings or just some buildings I made up like a shipping container home. 
So I, I just look for interesting projects and then I try to recreate them in Revit. That's why it's called gameplay. It's basically just a game that I play around modeling buildings. But it's very cool because you can learn from the from the masters how you can model something in uh, in Revit and how can you create a cool cool design and modeling like the masters. So check that playlist if you want to learn how to create some of the famous buildings. Then let's go back. Then we've got families in Revit, again self-explanatory, but they're not just, you know, basic families like chairs or furniture or something like that or windows. We also have interesting families, like for example this first video is about curtains in Revit. So if you want to learn about that, those interesting kinds of families, check that playlist out. Then we've got facades in Revit. Again, facades are a important part of any building. So, and over the, I almost said over the years, and I've been doing this less than a year. So, over the, the few months that I've been doing this, we've got a bunch of these, here, uh, facades that I modeled. So, it, and it's all, all, all usually interesting to to create an interesting facade like. Per, perhaps a green wall facade or something like that. So if you're interested in creating a a great wall for your building or great facade, check this playlist out. Then we've got the ceilings in Revit and ceiling designs. Again, I think this is self-explanatory. I just search the internet for interesting ceiling designs and then I model that in Revit. Then we've got stairs in Revit. Actually, there is a bunch of different ways you can do stairs, a million ways, different ways you can do stairs. And each time I do a new stair design, the, here I place it in this here playlist. So check them out. Then I've got interior design in Revit. This is just something that I've been starting off recently and it's been quite popular. So I'm going to continue on doing that. So make sure to check these interior design tutorials. I already have a, I think a bathroom, oh, shut up, a bathroom, a bedroom, an office, a kitchen, office interior, a home office, and then an office interior. This is kind of a conference room. So a bunch of interior design tutorials. Then I've got competition project preparation. Now this is the, the series I'm doing right now in uh, I'm, I'm doing this with a company, the, the competition is Arky. And I were bringing you five parts competition project preparation. So I'm going to be adding recent videos in this year, uh, this year playlist. Then I've got this Revit tutorials, Balkan Architect. Basically, all tutorials that are on Revit that I add, I'm going to be adding them to this playlist. This is the the playlist they have for a while. Then I've got Photoshop tutorials, again self-explanatory, all the tutorials that include Photoshop will be placed in this playlist. Then I've got some AutoCAD tutorials. Now I don't do all that much AutoCAD, I think my audience is mostly Revit, so I don't do that often, but here we've got a few tutorials, so you can check them out if you want to learn something about AutoCAD. Then I've got the Dynamo tutorials. Now this is something I want to get into more into and this is quite cool. Dynamo is basically a plugin for some sort of a, uh, how would you call it, a graphic programming or visual programming for Revit. So if you want to learn more about that, check these tutorials out and there will be much more in the future, I hope. And then here we've got this Villa Savoie. I've made a tutorial about famous Le, Cor Le Corbusier's Villa Savoie in Revit and it's a five-part tutorial and it's probably the best like beginner tutorial if you don't know much about Revit maybe you should get started with this Villa Savoie tutorial playlist. So that's all about playlists on my channel this is something new and I, I really hope this helps you out and uh, make, makes it so that you can find the content you're looking for a, a bit easier and of course, make sure to subscribe for, to my channel. I really make tutorials every day and there is always something new and interesting to learn. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, either on Revit or whatever else, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I, I take suggestions all the time and um, I think probably half of all of my videos are 
thanks to suggestions from you guys, even though sometimes it might feel like I don't read the comments, I, I read them, I just don't have the time to respond, but when I see some suggestions that I really like and think it would be cool, I, I do that tutorial. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and I'll see you tomorrow.